Hello friends, welcome to Shri Netrale. Here you are seeing a single-handed CTR injection system which is very simple to use. Capsular tension ring is an important device used in cases of zonular dialysis, pseudo exfoliation, pediatric cataracts. It also helps in cases of high myopia, high hyperopia, small rexis cases where you expect capsular phimosis to happen later date. post uveitic cataract post traumatic cataracts it is also useful in toric iol cases where it stabilizes the iol and prevents rotation of iol so let's see how to make this single handed ctr injection system the components are very simple a 1 ml tuberculin syringe and a 18 kg iv cannula now let's come to the steps how to prepare this first the metallic inserter of iv cannula is taken out it has to be broken in 18 gauge cannula you can directly pull this metallic part and it will come out here it was slightly more stiff as i was using 16 gauge cannula for better demonstration and visibility you can just twist this metal and it will break now i have a separate metal inserter for our injector system now take 1 ml syringe take the plunger out of it and the front rubber stopper is taken out this rubber stopper will help us attaching the metal injector to a piston of 1 ml tuberculin syringe just pierce the tip of this metal into the rubber stopper and then bend it so that it will lock there once bent and locked this rubber stopper is attached to the piston of 1 ml syringe and this will be our inserter for ctr if you insert this metal rod into the 1 ml now it will go to the sides and will not come out easily through the center so to overcome that problem i have taken a silicon tip from iol injector and inserted into the tip of this metal inserter and this way it will come out of 1 ml syringe very easily this silicon tip can be taken from any disposable iol injector with this silicon tip attachment now we will insert this into the 1 ml syringe and the metal inserter will come out of 1 ml syringe easily now we can attach the iv cannula to it and our inserter can go into the iv cannula very comfortably it is very important that this metal inserter should come out of iv cannula from the tip if that is not happening you can cut a small amount of tip in the front here we are creating an air vent because when i will inject my ctr into the anterior chamber air may also go from the 1 ml syringe to the anterior chamber and i don't want that to happen so i am just creating a air vent now we will do the x y w check This system is sterilized using the ETO after preparation. Let's see how this will take the CTR out. I have loaded the CTR with the help of forceps and now I am injecting the CTR into the anterior chamber. See how nice and comfortably it is coming out. 
here you need not to manipulate with the left hand to the digital eyelet of CTR. This system is sterilized with ETO and then used or the front IV cannula can be every time changed so that sterility is maintained well. This is an air vent which will prevent the air from 1 ml to enter into the anterior chamber. Now we will load our CTR. Loading of CTR into the IV cannula is not a difficult task. It can be done with the help of forceps. The eyelet is seen out of this IV cannula and now we will insert this CTR into the bag. Now insert it into the anterior chamber through the main port incision. Go close to the rexis and start pushing and guiding CTR insertion in the bag. Once the distal eyelet is about to come out, go below the rexis and insert it directly into the bag so that you don't need a second hand. See it once more in second case. Hope this video will help you to understand and utilize this very simple innovative CTR injector system which is safe, easy to use and single handed. Do subscribe to a YouTube channel Dr. Pankaj Lande for more such exciting and innovative videos. Thank you and good day.